my name is Kelsey and I work as an interpreter here at Kensington Metro Park. If you haven't visited us during the winter season, you're missing out on these beautiful snowy landscapes, peaceful hikes, and more. You may have heard that here at Kensington, birds will feed right out of your hand. While it isn't typically recommended to feed the wildlife, here at Kensington we have a unique history. It all started in the 1970s, when a volunteer would put bird seed in his hat when he was performing trail maintenance. Over many, many years, the birds became comfortable taking food from humans, and they even taught their offspring to be comfortable too. Here at Kensington, we aim to protect the health and well-being of our bird populations, as well as our human visitors. So today, we'd like to share with you some tips so that your family can have an excellent bird feeding experience while also protecting and respecting our wildlife. Before heading out to the park, you'll want to be prepared. Be sure to leave your furry friends at home as dogs are not allowed on the nature trails. If you plan on bringing your own bird seed, be sure to purchase black oil sunflower seed. The kind you use in your bird feeder at home will work. It is best to avoid commercial bird seeds that include millet, cracked corn, peanuts, or anything salted or for human consumption. It's a common pastime to feed bread to ducks or other birds, but bread is particularly bad for all birds. It fills them up without offering any nutritional value. This can cause digestive and developmental problems in some birds, which can interfere with their ability to fly. You can leave your five pound bag of bird seed at home, but just a small bag this size will be more than enough for you and your family. Hand feeding birds at Kensington Metro Park is only appropriate during the colder months, which is October through April. This encourages natural foraging for insects during the breeding season. Birds have different protein needs when they are preparing to lay eggs and brooding, and they need to catch insects to feed their young. Feel free to call or stop by the Nature Center before you head out on the nature trails to chat, and we can answer any questions you may have. Once you reach the nature area, you might start to notice you're getting some attention from the local wildlife. Have fun feeding any small songbird that will land in your hand, like the chickadee, the tufted titmouse, and the white-breasted nuthatch. It is important you don't feed any cranes, turkeys, or anything with fur, like squirrels, chipmunks, or deer. Feeding these animals can cause behavioral issues that can pose a danger to humans and to the animal itself. Instead of feeding these animals, enjoy them from a distance. Have fun by taking photos, and be sure to tag your metro parks on social media. Be sure not to sow seeds or leave piles anywhere in the park. Leaving seeds and piles of food on the ground, fence posts, or benches is dangerous for the animals. It facilitates the spread of disease, and it also increases the risk of predation. Feeding only the small songbirds that will land in your hand is the best way to enjoy and protect nature here at Kensington. Feeding the birds here at Kensington Metro Park is a wonderful experience for families, couples, and people of all ages. And if these guidelines are followed, we can protect our wildlife and enjoy this opportunity for years to come. If you'd like to support the Nature Center, you can sign up for one of our interpretive programs. Look for these programs and other virtual resources at www.metroparks.com.